In this video, I'll discuss the uprise of crypto and whether you should buy or get out now. So what caused the rise of cryptocurrency, particularly Bitcoin? Well, 84% seems like a lot. And it is. Imagine you invested $1,000 and suddenly it's worth almost $2,000. That's a, that's a big upswing. But realistically, considering the past of cryptocurrency, this is actually not unprecedented. When we're looking at the history of cryptocurrency, we can see that there have been massive spikes in the charts. A rise of 84% is not a lot considering the spikes we have seen in the past. But the question still emerges, why now? Why do people suddenly buy more crypto? And, and I feel like the reason for that is there's not a lot of other good investments. The interest rates are really high. People don't want to really buy a lot of real estate, for example, because it's just a lot to finance. I feel like that's one of the major reasons why people just dump the rest of their money, maybe just like a, a small sum of money that they don't really know where to put. Also considering the stock market is valued at a fairly high price. So there's just a, a big lack of alternatives. Should I buy or sell? Well, technically speaking, there is no intrinsic value in cryptocurrency. No one knows how much it's worth. You have to decide for yourself whether you actually believe in it or not. From a financial standpoint, it's not easy to value. It's, it's really difficult to decide whether this is going to be worth a lot in the future. You could argue cryptocurrency is similar to gold or art or other investment options where you don't really know how much it's worth because it doesn't produce any cash flow. And that's the big thing for me. There is no cash flow. It, it's really hard to rate and value things that don't produce anything. If you're looking at asset classes and how they have performed, it kind of comes down to this. If an asset produces cash flow, they'll perform really well over time. And if an asset doesn't produce any cash flow, it will perform worse. That has been like that for centuries. So basically, and this is not only coming from me, this is also coming from Warren Buffett and other financial gurus that you might trust. There is a little bit of a difference between gold and cryptocurrency. It's because gold cannot be replaced. It's a physical thing and cryptocurrency could just be reinvented. It could be changed. It could be improved. And suddenly one cryptocurrency is not really, you know, the one that everyone buys. There will just be another cryptocurrency that people suddenly want and think technology is better or it's just very risky and can be replaced. And I think that's the benefit of like gold and art, for example, because it's kind of timeless and it's a physical thing rather than just a digital product or a digital code where we don't really know anything about. So basically, I also don't like gold, by the way, and I don't like art. Uh, I think those are asset classes that don't produce any cash flow. And I personally like to get a return on my money and I like my money to work for me. So for me personally, I just absolutely hate everything that has to do with asset classes that don't produce anything. And it could go to zero. You have to consider that, right? Like suddenly your hard earned money will be gone. It, it could happen. I mean, it could happen in, in any investment, I suppose. But if you have a cash flow, the likelihood of that happening is a lot lower. You know, also the fluctuation in crypto has been so crazy. It's mainly because of all the traders. People come in, they want to make a quick buck, then they trade and they hope to get rich really, really quickly. Yeah, I mean, some people have gotten really, really rich, but most of the people have not. You know, when there's winners, there's losers. It's just not, for me, not really worth it because you're not producing anything. If this technology was used, uh, really helped a lot of people and brought value to them, then I think it would be investable. But because it, it is currently not, there's just no reason to really buy it. I could obviously be wrong, right? That's just my way of looking at it. If you're looking at all the scams that have happened over the years, all the influencers that said, oh, you know, I have some NFT, I have some, you know, nice little thing that I'm promoting and then they are promising you everything and suddenly the the thing doesn't work out so well and then you lose all your money and they will get a commission for it. 
So I think that's also a big risk. There's no regulatory institution that oversees it, even though some people claim there is, it, there really isn't. We've seen a lot of scams. We've seen a lot of people who lost a lot of money, a lot of hard earned money. In my opinion, cryptocurrency is like gambling. It's just taking a chance that it might be worth more in the future, but you don't know and you have no evidence of it having like a good direction or like you, you know a lot about it or this is going to be it. This is going to be in this application. That's what we're going to use it for. We don't know. Therefore, it's like gambling. You know, if you like to gamble, <laughs> go for it, go for it, right? You know, gambling is fine, but it's gambling. It's not investing. In investing, we try to find things that have a good likelihood to succeed. We try to minimize risk and maximize profits by finding investments that are stable and have a good cash flow return. Meaning, if it makes money, it's worth something. And if it doesn't make money, it's worth <laughs> It's worth nothing. It's worth absolutely zero, in my opinion. So I wouldn't buy crypto for one euro unless I could obviously sell it for the current market value. You just look at Warren Buffett. He said, if I could buy all the land in America, all the farmland in America for a hundred thousand dollars, I would do it. But if you gave me all the crypto coins in the world and I only had to pay a hundred thousand dollars for it, I wouldn't do it because there's just no cash flow. There's no, no return on investment. It's just gambling. And you know, in investing, we don't gamble. We make informed decisions so we can get a return on our money. Ignoring things that don't produce any cash flow might mean that we will miss out on some opportunities and some speculation that would have made us some money. But at the same time, it will prevent us from losing everything. So therefore, my take, don't buy it.